and I heard that, that what I suspect is the teeth hitting the tank and it shot out in front of me and I wasn't really sure how big a shark or what kind of shark it was at that point um, until it came back at me then I, I knew right away it was a great white then. And, and the visibility and, doesn't look like you had great visibility here. No, it was, you know, we have an average of, you know, maybe 10 to 15 foot of vis where we dive out of, you know, out in our area. So it's, you know, it, it was good for our vis. <laughs> And, and, I mean, the, I understand the, the shark, as you said, he went away, came back about eight minutes or so later, and I see you're, you're pointing your spear gun. I mean, you're trying to keep it in front of, between you and the shark, which is obviously, I guess, a wise thing to do. You poke it several times. Did you get the sense that it was aggressive or just curious? Well, once I poked it a few times. You know, I've had other shark encounters, and you poke them, you know, with different types of sharks, and they, and they leave right away. Um, I noticed this one didn't want to leave. It kept getting more aggressive. So uh, there at the last, I, I really, I hit it pretty hard and it left long enough for me to get away and get to the surface. So I was glad about that. It's got, I mean, I, I've, I was, you know, I've gone diving a couple times for stories with great whites off Cape Town and the visibility was really low and there's nothing creepier than suddenly seeing an enormous great white come out of, you know, out of the shadows yeah. essentially. Um, what was that feeling like? It was overwhelming, you know. You don't, ex like you said, you, 15 feet away and then it just appears right on you. And, and most of this video, it's only six to seven foot away from me. And uh, so, yeah, it's, you know, I wasn't, I was more worried about how I was going to get to the surface, if it was going to leave me. I knew I had pr plenty of oxygen left because I just got down there. So uh, I, was, I was grateful that he did decide to leave after I poked him pretty hard that last time. I understand you went diving, though, again later that day. I mean, a lot of people might be like, you know what, I'm going to take a couple of days <laughs> off. Yeah, we, uh, when I got to the surface and told my friends what I'd seen and, you know, and told the story and everything, we, we loaded up our everything and we ran about three or four miles down the reef and started and dove the rest of the day. And we didn't see any more sharks that day. Was, uh, I imagine one of the creepier moments was as you're, you know, as you're exiting, you know, you get back in your boat and your feet are still in the water. Was there a moment when you thought, you know what, I, I just got to get in the boat as quickly as possible? Yeah, I can promise you that was the fastest I've, I've gotten to the surface at that depth. Um, that, and that was what I was worried about. You know, when I was hiding behind the rock there, you got a little bit of protection. You know, you can, he's not going to come from underneath of you or, the, or the, behind the rock at you. When you're going up, he can come from any direction, you know. So that's what I was more worried about. Did you think at any point of actually firing your spear gun? Right there at the end, you can see it comes around right before I hit it hard the last time. You can see me reach up and start to unhook my line from my shaft in case I had to shoot it. But it returned on me too fast and I had to hit it that last time and I just, I'm, I hit it as hard as I could. And I actually seen the tip go into the shark this time. And that's when it took off long enough for me to get away. And I mean, I guess a spear gun like that, frankly, wouldn't do all that much to a 14 nah. or 15 foot, you know, long shark. Yeah, that was that was going through my mind too. It's like it's not going to do nothing, but I hope it scares him enough to get away. When I went diving with sharks, the the expert I was diving with told me I should project confidence. I was like, how do you project <laughs> confidence through a wetsuit and a snorkel and a goggle and all that? <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess you were projecting confidence. Yeah, that's you know just.